I think I have an addiction. What are you gonna do? And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Oh, oh. It really does feel like I've only just done a recent finds video, but this is stuff I've acquired um, before and after my trip to Orlando. Um, oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the new video intro by the way. Um, I thought I'd add something new to the channel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that little intro I put in there. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, back on track. Um, yeah, so this is a lot of stuff I've acquired before and after my trip to Orlando, as I said. Um, but before that, I want to show what's playing in the background. Showed it in my Orlando haul video. Uh, Rare Earth One World. A rock band that was on Motown and they were given their own label because they wanted to go from funk to rock. But they were part of Motown. Yeah, they do have their own label. Really, really good stuff for our Earth. I wish I had more stuff by them. But I can never really find it at a price I'm willing to pay, so... But, there it is. Rare Earth, One World. I like that cover as well. Look at that cover! If that's not reason enough to buy it... Their cover of What I'd Say by Ray Charles is another great album. Anyway, um, I go over that in my last um, finds video, so make sure you go and check that out. Um, let's get into this video. So, I'm actually going to start off with a CD. I very rarely pick up CDs. Because ever since I switched to vinyl, I don't really buy too many CDs. Unless the only way to get an album that I love is on CD. Um, I know this album's on vinyl, it's just super expensive and I never see it, and I love this album anyway. Um, it's Prodigy of Mob Deep, N -A H N I C. Great hip hop album, great solo album from Prodigy, so I had to check that out. And the reason I picked that up is actually because um, I'll talk about it. Now, if you guys um, watched my last video, you'll see that I picked up a Mob Deep white label. And when I picked up that white label, I did not realise it was the clean version of the album. I don't pick up Mob Deep albums to listen to a clean version of their album. So, I traded it in to my boss at the record store and he gave me a great deal on some exchanges because he wanted the album for himself. Um, anyway, so he just gave me a few things out of the store. Three things here. First thing I got off him was Howling Wolf self-titled album. This is of course a reissue but it's from 19... originally from 62 I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. No, my first Howling Wolf album and it happens to be one that I love so brilliant brilliant stuff there. Like I said it's a reissue on 180 gram vinyl and I don't show a lot of labels but I'll show this one if you can see that there. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. I do like that a little, quite a bit. Um, I'll put these back at the end because I want to try and want to. I want to try and save some time as there is a lot to get through. Um, but yeah, I do really like Howlin' Wolf, so had to. Was super happy I got that in my exchange. Um, I'll put them over here actually. The next thing I got in my exchange was if that if Howlin' Wolf doesn't fall over. <laughs> yeah. Next thing I got was Back to Front by Lionel Richie. Torn again. Um, yeah, but there's two songs on here that aren't on any of his albums. So I had to grab that. This is from 91 originally, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I think this is a 92 issue. Again, I could be wrong on that. The cover's not brilliant, but it's like me and Nazno might always say. You just can't play that cover. But yeah, Lionel Richie back to front was another one I got in my exchange. And the third album I got in my exchange for the Clean Mob Deep album, because I've got a rule where if you listen to Mob Deep, the clean version of Mob Deep albums, you must be insane. 
I'm sorry, but Mob Deep didn't make their music to have it clean, to make it clean. So for me, it's kind of a rule. So technically, I have still don't have any Mob Deep on vinyl now, but I got three really good albums in exchange, so I'm not really complaining too much because um, the other one I got was Bad Girls by uh, Donna Summer. German pressing of this on Casablanca, and I did not realise, but it is a double LP. Uh, gatefold there, nice. Nice gatefold, you can't even see me anymore, there you go, nice gatefold. Uh, like I said, on the Casablanca label, comes with both the original inner sleeves, and there it is on Casablanca. But yeah, really super happy to grab this album, I've been looking for this one for a while. And yeah, even more stuff I can cross off the list of albums that I've been hunting for, that I've been on my watch list forever. So yeah, there it is. Bad, uh, Bad Girls by Donna Summer. It's a shame I had to swap it, but you know how it goes when an album is clean. You just can't. It's, it's kind of a bit iffy, because it doesn't sound right to me when a Mob Deep album is clean, because about 95% of the... Well, not 95%, but a large majority of all the words which is missing and it didn't sound right to me so I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't listen to it but it was still nice to pick that up show it and nice to get three new albums in exchange um, a fairly new band here a band I talked about before on my channel but not for a very long time um, and I'm super glad to finally pick up something else by them uh, the band's called Laney this is their EP called Kinda there are six songs on here. Now, if you don't know Laney, I've got the Wikipedia page up, just so I remember this. They are a... The words Laney are an acronym for Los Angeles, New York. And even though they were formed in Los Angeles, um, they're an American indie pop group that formed in Los Angeles, and I don't know where the New York connection comes from, because there's nothing here that really says. Um... But they are, out of all the indie pop groups I listen to, this is maybe my favourite one. They are so talented, and this was definitely definitely their breakthrough EP, and then they had an album out in 2017, they had an album out in 2018, which I listened to but never picked up, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is still a really, really good album, uh, EP, uh, so definitely worth a listen. It's just on standard black vinyl, nothing special. Custom label though, they're on Polydor, so, you know, they must be good if they're on Polydor. But yeah, there, there they are, Laney. Um, kinda. EP. Nice uh, band there. One of the, oh, the newest thing actually that I'm showing you, newest in year, because that's 2016, everything else is obviously sooner. Um, I don't know how much soul and hip-hop I have. I don't know. I don't have that much, to be honest. Um, but something you guys have already seen on the channel, because I did a video on this before I went to Orlando. Uh, uh, it was my 90, It was my best albums of 1983, which, ironically, an album that was in my last video would have been in that video if I had waited a bit longer. But I was impatient, and I messed up there. But... It is, of course, uh, Synchronicity by The Police. This album I was waiting on for a long time to get a copy of, a nice copy of. Finally found one. And I, I'm now, I'm still missing one of The Police's albums, but this may be my second favourite in the discography. Just because of, just for the song Every Breath You Take is really the only reason I picked this up. But I did like the whole album. I'm not going to lie. I did enjoy it. So I had to grab that. Um, I'm going to move on to some 7 inches. I normally show them first, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to get the newer stuff uh, and my exchanges and an album we've already seen out of the way first. So let's get into this with the 7 inches, starting off with Respect by Aretha Franklin. I still have no Aretha Franklin albums, but I have a few 7s, so I'm happy with that. And it's these four that I really stopped buying sevens when I was in the States because I already have, I've, I've run out of room to put my sevens anywhere. So they're just out in the open. But the next one I have is Rock the Caspar by The Clash. 
My favourite Clash song is either this or the law, or I fought the law. But I do like this one quite a bit with Long Time Jerk on the flip side. Love that song. That song actually um, introduced me to to the Clash. Once I heard Rock the Cash Bar, I fell in love. Um, here's a bit of a novelty one. Actually, I'll save the novelty one for last. Here's a reggae 7-inch. Again, I don't pick them up too often. And I'm sure um, Steve Carlson just talked about these guys, the producers of this track, in a recent video he did where he was talking about Grace Jones, um, the producers of Sly and Robbie. Um, but this is Wailing Soul with Sugar Plum Plum, backed with a dub mix. But it says here, to Dennis from Angela, so I'm guessing it was a gift to someone at some point on the taxi label, which I'm sure is a reissue label, but this is a super nice song. Um, I love Wailing Soul, one of my favorite reggae groups, so nice to grab that. Here's the no and here's the novelty. I'm sure I was talking to Tim about this when we had our meet up in Orlando, but it is The Simpsons' Deep Deep Trouble. Um, it has a dance mix and, an, and the LP mix on the flip side, but if you look closely, uh, you can if you can see that, produced by DJ Jazzy Jeff. He did a couple of songs uh, for The Simpsons where Bart is actually rapping, and he, I think he produced them both. Uh, I have one on 12, and now I have the other one on 7. They're just a bit novelty, because I used to be such a, I used to be a huge Simpsons fan back when I was younger. Not so much now, because it gets a bit repetitive for me, but I used to love it when they would do these types of, when they would break out into a musical number, and this was one of the favourite ones that I had, so it was nice to find that on the 7 inch. There it is. Um, put those over there. Now onto the 12 inches, again there's a, there's a few here that I'm going to get through, as you can see, a few 7s. So let's get into this, starting off with one of my favourite songs by Wu-Tang Clan. And my first, I think, Wu-Tang Clan song on 12-inch, that's I Can't Go To Sleep. Of course, with the infamous um, sample of uh, Walk On By by Isaac Hayes. And it's obviously back, it's backed with uh, Careful, Click Click. There's so many different um, mixes on here, obviously an explicit version. But I don't get why they put the live instrumental on the flip side as well. I don't really understand that why they did that but yeah this is a promo copy of this so nice to have that because any Wu-Tang Clan is incredible there it is custom label nice to own that super super nice to own that uh, next up Noi by Nature the song is craziest um, Again, a few different mixes, but I do love Noi by Nature. Again, one of my favorite hip hop groups, so nice to grab another 12 inch from them. Billy Griffin, Hold Me Tire in the Rain. Beautiful song. My, one of my favorite songs of all time, I would say, when it comes to the, the soul scene. It has Understand on the flip, but I mainly got it just for the song Hold Me Tire in the Rain, which was great. Uh, Teardrop. Wormack and Wormack, another classic song, and it also has uh, Conscious of My Conscience on the flip side with it as well. Beautiful song there on 4 from Broadway. Do like that song quite a bit. Uh, Fame 90 by David Bowie I picked up. Um, has the house mix, the hip hop mix, and the gas mix. It's a shame it doesn't have the original mix, but this is one of my favourite David Bowie songs. So I'm going to pick up 12 inch of it anyways. By what mixes are on there. Uh, the Riddle by Nick Kershaw. 80s classic song there. So of course I'm going to grab that and add that to the collection. The Damned Alone Again or on 12 inch. Uh, not a huge fan of The Damned but I do have Phantasmagoria on uh, of the album Phantasmagoria and I do really like their first album so uh, this is obviously from the Anything album I believe but I mean oh well it's right there anyway so I don't know why I said I think but there it is I also grabbed Michael Jackson Heal the World which also comes with Wanna Be Starting Something 
Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and Rock With You, but it comes with different remixes of those songs as well. Um, but yeah, it's not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice to own those songs on a 7. I thought this was a gatefold for a sec, but it turns out it is not. Also comes with a poster. And you know me, anything with a poster. There we go. And I don't have a lot of Michael Jackson on 12 inch. I've only got albums really, and 7, a lot of 7s. So it's nice to find any Michael Jackson 12 inches. And Absolute Beginners by David Bowie is the last 12 inch single I'm going to show you. This is the. This is obviously from the uh, soundtrack, the movie. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolute Beginners. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Do like this one a bit. Again, also has a little insert. Nothing on the other side, but a little order form for t-shirts. I always, I always get tempted to send these order forms in just in case I get lucky. But you know, even back then, eight pounds for a t-shirt—that's decent. You wouldn't. If you see that t-shirt now, you'd pay a lot more than eight pounds for it, probably. But yeah, do like that. Uh, anyways, moving on to some other stuff here. What am I going to show you next? I never know what to show you. Sorry about that guys, I had to cut away real quick, but this next one is one I really only picked up because of, um, well, three people I think who have shown this, three channels I love, Jeff Kempin and Hannah of the Omaha have both showed this, but the reason I really picked it up was from Nez Nomad. His description of this album made me interested and made me want to pick it up and that album is um, True Color, uh, Split Ends True Colors. I have the purple cover, clearly, um, but this is a reissue from 1980 even though originally it came out I think in 79 or something. And as you can see from the sticker, limited edition laser etched version. I don't know if that affects the way this album plays. Um, but I, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but if you can see that in the light, and there is an etching on there, and it's on both sides as well, which is really nice. So, I haven't listened to this yet, so I haven't seen how well it plays, um, we'll find out, but, yeah, I really, I did sample the album after Naz Nomad described it in his video, when he showed it, and I liked what I heard, so... Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of, well, technically punk music, I guess, or post-punk, or a new wave, whatever you want to put this album under. But I really liked this one, so. And what was this song he talked about? I don't remember what song he was talking about in the video, but, yeah, good, good, uh, good stuff there. So I can't wait to give that one a listen. Um... Sorry about my phone going off there. I'm going to save uh, this... What am I saving until last? I don't know. Um, Barry White, Stone Gone. Do I need more Barry White albums? No. Um, but this one's really good. It's got Never Never Gonna Give You Up on it. So, of course, I'm going to pick that up. Didn't have this one yet. Um, and any Barry White albums of a song that I absolutely love from him, I'm going to grab it. Uh, 1973 is, of course, the year on this. We all know Barry White by now, surely. So, but yeah, there's that one. Something I wouldn't normally pick up uh, here is Crosby, Stills and Nash. But I was sampling a song off of this, and I really enjoyed what I heard, so I grabbed it, and I enjoyed the entire album really did. Um, again, not something I'd normally pick up. It is a reissue of this album, but a, an early reissue, I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't come with, um, oh, I don't know, but there's the insert. Nice to have that. And I can tell you it's a reissue because, well, because of that. I'm pretty sure I had the plum label originally, correct me if I'm wrong, but Nice to see that. Originally from 1969, so I'm pretty sure it would have had the plum label at that time. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a mid-70s reissue. 
Um, right about that sort of time, but again, one I really enjoyed. I didn't, wouldn't normally pick up this type of music, because I normally pigeonhole a lot of this type of music, but I grabbed it, and yeah, there it is. So yeah, nice to own that. What do I have next to show you is the Maroon Dogs. You guys may not know what the hell this is. Um, but it is a band that are local to me from back in the 80s. And the good thing about this, I do own their other album on vinyl, but I prefer this album after listening to it. But and Which is good because this one's actually signed by the band as well. All three members. Uh, best way I can dis they're very Beach Boys esque, but they also have some of their songs. They also have a very fifties rock and roll tint to them. Um, they're pretty unique, I would say. I mainly picked them up just because they're local on du on the Ducks label there. But again, just because they're local. Um, I picked them up, but I really did enjoy the music on, that this one had to offer, so, yeah, there it is, um, Maroon Dogs, the album is called You, yeah, Be Seeing You, so you can kind of see what they did with the cover there, pretty clever, I'll admit, pretty clever, but yeah, there it is, Maroon Dogs, uh, check them out if you're not familiar, I'm sure their stuff's on YouTube somewhere, um, to, for you to sample, um, but, yeah, make sure you check out, definitely try and check out this album. This is the one I prefer of the two albums they put out in the 80s. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, Maroon Dogs, be seeing you. I'm going to save this one to last and show off this one. Um, Howard Jones, Dream Into Action. 80s classic here. I, this is 1985 originally. Pretty sure this is a 1986 reissue of this. I picked this up for one song. Um, that song is Things Can Only Get Better. Now here's the reason why. this That song was in my favourite movie of 2018. And ever since then, ever since I checked out that movie, I've been in a kick to try and find every song that was on that movie. Or in that movie. Including the two Smith songs that they used. And Smith's albums aren't exactly easy to find, even here. Um, but yeah, Howard Jones, Dream Into Action. Oh, things can only get better. The reason I picked this up. I haven't listened to the full album yet, but I do like a bit of Howard Jones, so I can see myself enjoying this one a little bit. Um, yeah, Dream Into Action, Howard Jones. Can't wait to listen to that one. And finally, the one I saved to last, because... You all know I'm trying to improve my blues collection, hence why I picked up Howling Wolf. Um, but this is one that's very hit and miss. Um, but the album itself is produced by Johnny Winter. And there it is. Mighty Waters Live in Mississippi. From 1979. And yet yeah, the... the album itself, like I said, produced by Johnny Winter, who I hear, I'm pretty sure Jeff and Hannah, again, have both talked about him. Um, I really picked this up for the muddy aspects, though, not for the Johnny Winter. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he has a cover of, Howling, of a Howling Wolf song on here, but if you give me a moment, I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong on this, but that there might be Johnny Winter. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure what he looks like. I still yet 100%, but I'm almost certain that's him on the Blue Sky label. Don't worry, I was touching the dead wax, not the actual grooves of the record. For those who are going to write comments saying that I was touching the grooves, don't worry, I was touching the dead wax. But yeah, there it is, a Mississippi Live, or well, Muddy Waters, Mississippi, Muddy Mississippi Waters Live. Um, but it's a great album, I, I do like Muddy Waters stuff, so can't wait to give this one a listen as well. Nice addition to the Blues Collection. Woo! We're done, finally. Um, 
yeah, the reason that Irv, that Rare Earth isn't playing no more is because we actually got to the end of the record and I didn't bother flipping it over. So, but once again, um, thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. Um, uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm sorry about the beard. I know it's a shame. Looks terrible, I know, but we'll, we'll move past that. And I hope to see you guys again uh, very soon. Peace.